guys, it is Thursday and I thought I would take you along to show you what I'm getting done today for quiet time. Um, I have a lot of things I want to tackle today so I thought this would be a good time to show you guys what I'm getting done. And yeah, so this week has been crazy. We had, let's see, my daughter's birthday party um, this past weekend so just all the prep for that. And then our van, um, the transmission went like completely gone. We need to completely replace the transmission. And um, we are actually, we have been a one car family. So earlier on in the year, my husband's car died it just completely. I mean, it really wasn't even showing any signs. It wasn't that old at all. It wasn't showing signs of anything, you know, being wrong. And he was driving home from work. It stalled. It wouldn't start up again. He thought, you know, maybe it needed a new starter or something like that. Brought it to the shop and it was dead. Like the engine was gone. So we decided at that point we did not have a car loan on that. We weren't paying on that car. So we decided to just be a one car family for a while, save up enough money to just pay for another car in cash instead of having to take out another loan. And then um, it was working out fine because my husband works nights, so he had the van at night. Um, he also works with a friend from town here, so they would carpool, so they would switch on and off every other night, so it wasn't like I was without a car every single night. And we also have a lot of friends and family that we can, you know, rely on close by. So if I, there was an emergency and I needed a car, there are people close by that I could call. And then during the day, my husband's home, he's just sleeping, so I had a vehicle available to me. So anyways, it was working fine until the transmission in my van went. So this week's been crazy trying to just figure out grocery shopping and errands and just all sorts of things. And I have, you know, things going on this week. I have a daycare party that I planned. I have, um, you know, Easter. So there are definitely a, a few more errands that I need to run than normal. So anyways, <laughs> my house has been kind of on the back burner this week just because of all of the craziness. So um, hopefully we will have our van back by, they said probably Monday, Tuesday at the latest. So that's good. Um, and today I'm just going to try to focus on getting some things that I have been putting off done. So this morning I was feeling a little overwhelmed so I just went ahead and made a list of things that had to get done today. Laundry is top of my list. I have a humongous pile over here that needs to be folded and sorted. Um, I need to make, oh, my mom is actually coming to pick me up tonight to bring me to Walmart because um, she has to get some things also. So I need to make a Walmart list and make sure that it is accurate accurate in that I'm not leaving anything out because we are without a vehicle right now. I also want to organize my desk area. Oh, this is so embarrassing, you guys. But I'm going to be completely honest here with you guys and be real. Um, this is a pile of papers that has totally accumulated and I need to go through that. Also want to kind of purge the bulletin board and just my office area in general. So that's one of the things I really want to accomplish. Um, I also want to tackle the hall closet. Again, it's just out of control and um, it's still cold here. It's only about 38 degrees today. So yeah, it's not warm. So I do have to keep the coats, unfortunately, and all the hats and mittens and all of that in the hall closet. So I just need to really straighten it up. And then um, I switched around our entryway a little bit because I needed more storage space for the daycare kids things. So, um, I'm actually using this unit, which is a little bit taller than the one I had on here previously. And I'm using these bottom three as just like cubbies for the daycare kids. And then these, this bottom one's just like a lost and found. So things that kids leave here, I can just toss in there and the parents know to look in there if their kids are missing anything. And then the top one is just where we keep our wipes. Um, because yeah, I never know when you're gonna need a wipe. And then on the top here, just some tissues and then a folder for each child where their paperwork, crafts, anything that they need to take home goes. And I'm actually waiting on an order from Erin Condren um, for some personalized folders. So that will be good. And then I just have the daycare's um, bulletin board up there. So that's all situated now, but there were some things in here, in my old like, cubby system here that I needed to put into my hall closet. So that's just kind of needs to be gone through today. And then the rest of the stuff is just things that I need to do this afternoon. So those are really the main tasks that I want to focus on right now. So first and foremost, I am going to tackle that laundry. I need to fold it 
and sort it. So that's what I'm going to do I always right forget now. to mention the time, but I wanted to show you guys. It is 1.23 right now, so let's see how quickly I can get my tasks okay, so the done. laundry is done. Now I'm going to just move over to do my desk and organize all the papers and just get it situated. Much better. I just went through and um, went through all the paperwork and filed what needed to be filed and then just tossed a bunch of things that we really didn't need. So, and again, I just went through our bulletin board and what I do is I just keep the really special things and the rest um, gets thrown away. I know it sounds terrible, but we just can't keep it all. Um, so that's kind of the process that we go through. We like to hang it up and the kids are proud of it, but honestly, even after a week, they've forgotten about it, especially when they're bringing home new things So, um, and doing different projects and that sort of thing. So this is the system that works for us. So anyways, I cleared that off. I went through this, just kind of decluttered. Went, I actually still had March um, up for the calendar, so I switched that to April. And yeah, just decluttered everything and cleared off this surface. And yeah, that's done. Now I'm going to move on to the hall okay, closet. Okay, so here's what our hall closet looks like before. There's just stuff piled up. So I am going to go through and just try to reorganize this quickly. Okay, so I just went through and rehung up the things that needed to be hung up and just purged some things that were on the bottom here and just resorted the shoes. So this is functioning much better now. And I did leave the coats that we wear most often hung up on the inside of the door just because it's easier to grab them off the hook rather than when they're hanging up there on the um, coat rack. So anyways, that's there. And then my husband's bag for work just hangs on a hook also. So it's functioning much better now and I can actually see our shoes and I don't have to dig through things to get to other things. So that's done. So now I'm just going to sit down and start making my Walmart list. Um, I'm doing really good. It's only 2.11, so it hasn't even been an hour yet, 2.12, <laughs> and um, that was with a few interruptions. I had to get my son a snack. Um, he's watching Big, Big Hero 6 right now while I'm getting this stuff done, and then my daughter woke up with a dirty diaper, so I had to change her and get her settled in also. So I'm making really good progress. Um, I do want to get that Walmart list done now. Okay, now my Walmart list is done. And that was really all I had left on my list of things to do. So um, I am pretty much done for this afternoon for quiet time. And now it is 2.24. So it took me just about an hour to get all of that stuff done. Um, like I said, with some interruptions too. So not too bad at all. Um, and I feel so much better. Of course things are going to get disorganized and cluttered because that's life and life happens. But it really does feel so good just to carve out some time to tackle those areas that are driving you nuts. So, um, so yeah, I'm happy with all of that. And now it's time to get snack ready for the kids and get ready for the kids to get back from school and all of that. So I'm going to get busy doing that and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.